city in Nidokachi Prefecture. This city is an agricultural one where Japan's wheat, potatoes, and beans are grown. Obihiro is also home to Japan's newest high school baseball team, Obihiro Minami, led by Suzuki Daisuke. This ragtag group of kids hopes to one day achieve their Koshien dream. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And I am very, very excited about what we have here today. This is the newest iteration of Pro Baseball Spirits. This is the Japanese baseball game. Um, basically, their answer to MLB, the show. And I did a video covering one of the older versions of this game on the PlayStation 4 years and years ago, maybe three years ago. A version that was Switch only. I don't have the Switch. But now, this newest version, they've released it on Steam. And I had to do a little bit of finagling to get it to work on Steam. I'll come back to that in a minute. But at the moment, I am creating the flag and the emblem for our high school baseball team, Obihiro Minami, which is, I picked, uh, I, I elected to place the high school in the Hokkaido region, just because I know it's a less populated region, it doesn't get as much attention as some of the other areas of Japan, so I thought it would be kind of cool to have our school up there. You can see here, I'm looking through all the different uniform designs you can pick from. Now, I only recorded a little bit of footage of this mode here, which is the high school baseball mode, where you manage a high school program. But there is genuinely so much to this mode. I've been playing it a lot since the time of this recording. Uh, I've really improved the program. It, like, the depth, the whole, this whole type of mode in this game is something that I have wanted in a sports video game basically my entire life. So this woman here is our assistant and she kind of helps you through you know, everything, so these are our starting little bunch of players here. Not very good, as you can see, our best player is a three-star. Um, but we have a lot of one-stars as well. And early on in this game, I'm just gonna warn you now, our pitching really, really struggles. The pitching is really not good. But you have this mode here, and all these little cards at the bottom are actions that your team can perform different types of so the red one is an inter team game uh, different types of workouts that purple one reshuffles the schedule gives you new cards you can pick from and they all like cost different amounts of energy points you only have a certain amount of energy points so as you can see here, I reshuffled the schedule. We got all brand new cards. And you have to like, you know, pick those every week to determine what kind of training you're doing. Now, obviously this game is entirely in Japanese. And my Japanese is, even though I am learning, is still very, very basic. This guy just had his birthday. That's what this little screen is here. Um, so I, I play this game with a live 
screen translator app turned on. A lot of people that I've seen, they use their phone. They use Google Translate on their phone and just pull their phone up repeatedly to check what things say. But I was thinking to myself, surely there's a better solution, and I did find one. So it's a program I run which puts an overlay over my computer screen and translates the Japanese into English on the overlay. And I can toggle that on and off, so during games I have it turned off, so the screen is actually, like, I can actually see what's happening because it can get a little bit cumbersome. But so, like, this week here, I, I gave my students a study break, and then we did two improvements for the pitching because my pitching is the weakest part of my team. Um, but, yeah, this entire type of mode like this, I've been absolutely obsessed with this. I've been so deep in this whole mode. That purple bat there, that is, um, a special training. So you'll see in a minute what that does is we get to pick a player. So we have a third year player here, but that means he's gonna graduate at the end of this year because Japanese high school is only three years. But this kid here is a first year player and he still has a pretty decent star rating. And then these are different skills we can try to teach him. Um, so you can see like that one in improves his um, I believe is injury resistance from a D to a C. But I picked that top one and if I'm remembering correctly, I think it was trying to improve base stealing or something like that. Now we have our first game here and this is just a practice match, so you can get invited to and invite other teams to practice matches. So these, like, don't count. Uh, because obviously the way that the Koshien tournament works it's single elimination, so you can't lose any games. Sorry, I just had to clear my throat there. Um, so the Koshien is single elimination. So these practice games like this allow you to get live game reps uh, without the risk of having your season just end right there, you know what I'm saying? So, we're starting um, on defense, and you're about to see here just how bad the pitching is. Now, part of that was definitely user error, I'm not going to lie. I, this was my first time actually getting into a game and pitching in this new iteration of the game. Uh, but also, it doesn't help that, as you can see, my pitcher's control is an E. Now F is the worst you can be, so his velocity is an F. And I don't know what the last one is, but that's an F as well. So my pitcher is not good. And we walk our first batter. And the second one here is going to come up to bunt. Now this is something that happens a lot in this game. And I don't know if this is a common tactic in Japanese high school baseball. Obviously, I watch NBB, but that's professionals, and they're not bunting. But I've noticed um, in this game, if the first batter gets on base with no outs, the second batter will basically bunt 100% of the time. Like I said, I don't know if that's a high school baseball thing. I never played baseball in high school, unfortunately. I would have liked to, but um, I don't know. Look at this there for the out. 
nice right down the middle. So two away, bases loaded, top of the first. The pitcher's obviously in a bit of a bind here that uh, I need to work him out of. And we start with two balls right off the bat, three balls. I'm trying to go down and in. We get our first strike of the at-bat. But as you can see, our pitcher's energy is low, and we walk in a run. Little blooper there. Throw home out. So base is loaded. We only allow one run. Excuse me, two runs. Um, so the damage could have been worse. And now it's our turn to step up to the plate and uh, hopefully do some damage of our own. But again, these guys... They're not the best hitters because the way this works is your school starts off at the very lowest possible, like, fame level. So the players you start with and the players you can, like, scout are all low-level players. And then you slowly, over the years, like, build up the quality of your program. And then you can attract better players and, like, your training becomes better things like that so right now I'm about three years into my career and um, I'm a track my school is just now a D level school in this video I am an E level school so it took me three years to get to a D which is obviously still a below average school so it does take a very long time it's a game mode that you can sink hours and hours into um, i've already according to steam put 25 hours into this game uh, it helps that I, I bought it on my weekend off work so i haven't really had uh, any responsibilities this weekend to, to take care of besides just some general chores around the house i've had to do so I've been playing this game a ton, and we pop that one right up to the infield, and we retire the side, and then it auto-plays between big moments, so you play the entirety of the first inning, which is really cool, you pitch and hit the first inning, and then it will auto-play to the next, like, big moment um, in the game, so like, if your pitcher has, like, like right here, two outs, a runner on first and third. So it puts me into this situation, and it's like, okay, you're down a run. Runner's on first and third with two outs. Like, get out of this situation, basically. And if you have a your offense in a similar spot, it would do the same thing there. Also, I'm really going to go our first three balls right off the bat and then we walk in another run oh excuse me no we load the bases we don't walk in a run get a strike there boom two strikes so I go a little bit high and away here and he swings through it and base is loaded don't allow any runs down one run still in this practice match and see now here's our chance so we have two outs we have a runner on second so it puts me in the game basically to try and get this to, to tie the game up swing right through that one miss it on her two kilometer pitch and then obviously that infamous or I guess famous PCI now from these games compared to the show that baseball bat PCI I love that um, and there's a strikeout retiring side but for me this game is so much more fun than MLB the show the issue I've always had has just been especially on the PlayStation version it's so slow getting through everything, especially in career modes where there's lots of dialogue boxes and text options. But now that there's a PC version that I can live translate as I play, 
oh, it is infinitely more accessible. And now, if you're interested in the game, and maybe you've even looked into it yourself and you ran into the same roadblocks I was running into, I'm going to tell you how I actually got this game because even on Steam, this game is not available outside of very select markets, Japan, uh, Indonesia, Singapore, Taiwan, Malaysia, I think that's pretty much it. Um, the game is not available in the United States, not available in Australia, not available in the United Kingdom, Canada, where a majority of my viewers are located. So how did I get this game? Okay. So I had to go and uh, I have a free VPN that I use sometimes for certain activities. Just loaded the bases there, by the way. Um, and it's, a, it's usually a free VPN. But what I had to do is I had to pay $3 for an upgrade to my VPN service that... Um, puts my connection into Indonesia. Okay, so that's three dollars for an Indonesian VPN. Then, um, I had to go, using that VPN, I had to go to Steam and create an Indonesian Steam account. Okay, so that's free. Now, because of how Steam and the currency conversions and all of that work. Um, we just tied up the game, by the way. 3-3. Three, three. Um, the game is cheaper depending on which region. So I could have made a Japanese Steam account got a Japanese VPN. But the game is 9,000 yen, which is about 90 Australian dollars. In Indonesia, the game is like 350,000 Indonesian rupees, which is 25 Australian dollars, give or take. So I made the Indonesian account, and then I had to go, and I had to buy a Indonesian Steam gift card. Uh, for 400,000 for 400,000 Indonesian rupees and that cost me $25 so $3 for the VPN and $25 for the gift cards I'm down $28 and that got me the game um which, like I said, if I would have done Japanese, it would have been about $90, give or take. Um, so that's how I got this. And now once you buy the game, you can turn off your VPN. So you don't need to play the game with the VPN turned off. And you don't need to have your VPN turned on to download the game just to purchase it. And you, um, you can't use, like, an American or Australian or whatever credit card or bank account. Because they're looking for an Indonesian bank card. So that's why you have to buy the gift cards. Now there's different places to buy the Steam gift cards. I bought it on G2A. Like I said, 25 bucks. So, if that's something you're wanting to do... <laughs> Windscribe, three dollars for an Indonesian VPN. G2A, twenty-five dollars for four hundred thousand Indonesian rupees. And then you can have this game for twenty-eight bucks. If you have a PlayStation Five, you can go on Play Asia, and you can buy the game and import it from Japan. But I believe it costs over a hundred U.S. dollars to do that. But then you'll have the physical disc, so it's up to you. And technically, because I don't live in Indonesia, if Steam wanted to, I think theoretically they could like take the game off of my account 
and banned my Steam account because I technically, like, skirted the rules. I don't think they will, but they could. And there is not anything I could do about it. I couldn't get my money back or anything, so that's obviously a risk I'm taking. And you guys seem to be aware of that risk as well, uh, if you follow my advice. But this game is so much fun, I thought it was worth the risk. And the animations and the graphics in this game, like, if you're watching this on a phone, because I was watching some gameplay on a phone, it can be hard sometimes to, like, tell, especially when, when you're pitching and the camera's behind the picture. It can sometimes look very real. So n now we're in a real game. We're in the... I think this is the the winter Goshen or the spring Goshen. This isn't the big main summer Goshen tournament. And we weren't good enough for that one. But this is a smaller high school tournament. And this is our first game in that tournament. Uh, against this school that is much higher rated than us. Uh, if I remember correctly, they had like way better reputation than us. We're still a low level school. And I believe they were a high mid-level school. So they were like mid-level but upper mid-level. And like they had batters with B's and C's on their stats. And my uh, batters are all E's and F's. So they had way better batsmen than us. Oh, look at that though. And he grabbed the line drive out of midair. I'm not sure how many high school baseball players can pull that off, but he managed it just then. Um, also, my apologies if you're hearing some noises in the back. I'm, I usually record my videos at night, but I'm going to be really busy this evening, so I'm recording in the middle of the afternoon. And it just so happened that today is a very nice 36 degrees Celsius day here in Western Sydney, Australia. And my neighbor's kids are out playing in the swimming pool. Um, so hopefully the mic hasn't picked them up. You know, sometimes it doesn't always pick up background noise, but if it did, my apologies. And look at that, three runs to nothing going into the bottom of the fourth so we're punching above our weight right now but obviously with this being a much better school there's always the chance they could come back and so they have me now coming into pitch top of the ninth and if I just need three outs here and I can we win the first game in this Goshen tournament and I believe I mean, there's what like 3,000 something schools that enter 4,000 schools, whatever it is, only one can win. Um, I think even in these smaller tournaments, that's how it is. So, you know, obviously it's brutal. Do we get the double? Ooh, second. First, he's safe, but we stopped the runner on second, so that's what's important. So now we have a runner on first, and their batsman who's up here is not that great. Throwing him on the outside, two quick strikes, and we're going to go right there again. And second, first, retired the side, and we win. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If this gets a good response, I'll do a part two, but I know this is very, very niche. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this almost every single day. Till next time, bye bye.